I hope you had better watch the first three parts, because this is part four of my favorite AU and Aftertale comic. Um, dubbing, so just, just please watch the first part. This probably has some spoilers, but I wouldn't worry too much. So, in we go. Aftertale. Page 6, part 2, of the comic. <laughs> wait, wait, I got, I got one. Did you hear about the guy who invented the knock-knock joke? Let me guess, he won the Nobel Prize. <laughs> it's almost like... I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> hmm. Oh, sorry, kid. Sorry if I change the voice slightly. I'm bad at this. <laughs> so that kid and all this. Oh yeah, you're probably pretty confused. <sighs> Hey kid, go play somewhere. Me and other sons gotta talk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, a temper tantrum will not change my mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, okay. But only because I love you, Frisk. Huh? What the? There. Now go play, kid. Mm. You go. Yeah. <laughs> the human plays with the gaster blasters? <laughs> yeah. I pulled them out to try and kill the kid. But instead, the kiddo befriended them. Huh. Like, huh, the kid I know isn't that nice. Yeah, you've been dealing with Kara. The real Frisk is this one, and they've been trapped here longer than me. Hmm. And the elephant in the room, how are you not dead? <laughs> Who said I was alive? Calm down. <laughs> I'm not dead. Part alive, maybe? Somewhere between the two, like a partly limbo. We're starting at the wrong part, anyway. First, I want to apologize for the nightmares. That wasn't intentional. <clears throat> Neither was this, or us. Not supposed to exist like this. Hold on, I need it. Hold on, I'm gonna pause this real quick for just a moment so I can fix my. Okay, well, I wanna make sure. It really started when I watched this videos of Snowdian. I wanted to make sure maybe the kid didn't mean to kill Paps. I mean, Paps wouldn't hurt a fly. But nope. Papyrus spared the child without a second thought. Papyrus was murdered. Undyne had died. Alphys begged me to evacuate. I think maybe she knew what I was planning to do. <clears throat> I went down to the true lab. Even with Papyrus's death, I might have just let it all continue. I knew avenging him was pointless, I knew saving everyone was pointless. The report taught me, well, no matter what I did here, time would reset. We would all forget the details. And the anomaly would continue to play with our lives. Like we were a bunch of toys in a toy box. <laughs> you know how we are? Normally we'd go to sleep. 
pretend it's a bad dream. But as the t as my timeline progressed, the reports coming in got worse and worse. If I let this continue, the world would reset as it always does. And then the next timeline, yours actually, a week into that timeline, all timelines would end forever. All timelines would end forever? Yep, and that kid had to be the cause of it. By the time you started receiving this information, you were too busy protecting Papyrus. Hmm. Hmm? You were watching? Yeah. I can witness the world, not so much interact. Either way, I might have been able to beat the kid on my own, but this was too important. I had nothing else to lose. So if it didn't work, oh well, no skin off my bones. <laughs> Honestly, I thought I was just going to melt. And I almost did. But I wouldn't let myself. Either way, determination is one hell of a drug. I lost part of my face. I already had determination from when, well, you know, but I was hoping maybe more would give me what I needed. In desperation, I hoped that once I killed the kid, that I might have enough determination to suppress theirs, enough to gain control of the timelines and the powers to stop the reset forever. The kid died, and somehow, I found myself here. The termination allowed the pocket in space-time. This was it. I finally had answers. This was how the human was manipulating time. But now, I could do it too. I could stop everything from ending. I could really save everyone. Guess it was... Guess it didn't, doesn't always work out as you planned it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Sorry, Sans. The screen shut off. Looks like the world finally reset. Time for you to go. Wait, but there's still a lot I don't understand. I know. I'll try to see if we can speak again directly in your dreams. I still don't know the limits of what I can do right now. But there is one big thing you have to remember. Kara is in possession of Frisk's body, and you altered the timeline by Caroline. Kara. That means Kara is going to hone in on you. The playing field has changed. Kara is interested in the world again. We have to keep Kara interested, Sans. If Kara gets bored, all existence will cease to exist. You have to keep Kara amused till we figure out how to stop them from ending everything. And no matter what Kara does, you have to endure for the sake of everyone. <laughs> I can do that. After all, nothing gets under my skin. <laughs> we always had, were a fun bag of bones. <laughs> Alright, I'll send you back into the timeline. But just one final thing, okay? Please. <sighs> hmm? Well, it's about... <laughs> it, I mean... Papyrus, he looks so happy. I just... Thank you. Thank you for being good to him. Of course. <sighs> Alright. Well, see you on the other side, buddy. Is 
Kiddo, didn't mean to scare you. do for gas stage voice. Just fell off the couch. Sons, are you being entirely honest with me? Do you need to talk? Yeah, I'm good. You know what, Peps? I'm just excited because I think tomorrow is the big day. Huh? You have that feeling too? This is a great sign. Now I know a human will must suddenly come tomorrow. Whoa. If that's the case, we both need rest. Let's head off the bed now. <laughs> okay. Uh. Okay, sons, today is the day. <laughs> I can feel it, sons. I can feel it in my bones. That was good. I know. <laughs> Away. Got your bust. Oh, and no slacking off. Got it. Jeez, hmm. <laughs> 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 sons, you sure are an idiot. <laughs> well, look at that. It's all weird. Please, Sans. Don't act like you haven't seen me. I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. And you made a very stupid mistake. A stupid mistake? Huh. Well, do you mind chloro filling me in? Um. You aren't seriously doing this now, are you? What? Is there some sort of stigma around me knowing? Stop. What? Am I making you pun comfortable? Stop, 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 stop! Whoops. They went too far. If you don't stop, then I'm leaving and not coming back. <laughs> hey, okay. So what's up, little guy? Looks like you got some advice. <laughs> Advice? Too late for that one, Bonehead. Oh, thanks, you old charmer. That wasn't a compliment. I'm talking about Kara. You're stupid because you approach Kara about the resets. You have any idea the hell they're going to put you through? <laughs> I have some guesses. And I happen to know that this is the end of the video because I am running out of time for recording because I won't verify my YouTube channel. <clears throat> so yeah, p p p p p peace out.